How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope all of you are having a good day. I uh, wanted to do a video about a pest that I am currently facing, and I guess this is uh, the result of just getting into acros and not really understanding um, the high risk that acroporas coming into your tank can have pests on them that uh, traditional coral dips don't really have any impact on. So I'd heard of red bugs, which are tiny little, I, I guess, crustaceans, tiny, tiny little bugs uh, that crawl all over Acropora frags and can burrow into the skin and, in, in, and hide down in the coralites and irritate the frag uh, or, or the colony. And to me, it seemed like when I would read about that, that it was kind of a, kind of a, you know, not prominent thing, like maybe something that coral farmers saw and had to deal with before shipping frags out, that kind of deal. And now I think it's probably a lot more prevalent than I initially thought because these coral frags from Tidal Gardens that I received, they have uh, white bugs or gray bugs. I'm not really sure which. I'm going to try to zoom on this Bolly Green Slimer here. Let's see if I can Okay, so if you look close, you see what looks like little little teardrops. See like v dead center frame right now? They look like little teardrop shapes kind of lurking in between the bumps up and down the coral. See those? See them move? They, like, some of them are moving around. Some of them are kind of flapping in the breeze. Well, um, <laughs> trust me, when you watch them long enough, they move on their own and crawl around and crawl in and out of the core lights and they are as you can see i mean this bolly green slimer which is like a rock solid uh frag in the hobby is struggling mightily with the amount of irritation that it's receiving from these white bugs and there are also white bugs on this, this woolly green um, acro. And I've seen a couple on this Miyagi tort. And as you can see, so they apparently, like take a look at the polyp extension on this piece here. So obviously it's like not my tank parameters that are causing the this acro to, to withdraw. Um, it's definitely the core, the uh, the white bugs. I'm calling them white bugs. They could be gray bugs. They could be tan bugs, beige bugs. I, I don't know. Um, they're bugs. And there's one way to destroy these things from what I have read. And that is uh, the active ingredient in the dog heartworm medication. I think a dog and cat heartworm medication called Interceptor. So Interceptor is like, the brand name, but there's some active ingredient in it, some crazy scientific name, um, that will knock these things out. It will kill like all the crabs and shrimp in your tank. So my plan is this. Well, A, unfortunately, because people were apparently hurting their own dogs because they were getting the wrong dosage of heartworm medication, uh, that medication is under lock and key. You need to have a prescription to get it. So I do have an ex one exotic specialty veterinarian in my county. And I emailed them and they basically said, I, and I, I explained all this. Hey, you know, I keep coral, blah, blah, blah. You know, it had to be a long email, you know, and I wanted to do it over email rather than the phone so that I wasn't stumbling through what I was trying to explain. And they could actually like sit with it and, and digest it. And I, I received a response back from one of the nurse or like assistants there, you know, and they were like, hey, you know, uh, just read this to the doctors. They talked about it briefly while they were at, at lunch. And they said to tell you to give them a couple days to like think about, you know, <laughs> think about this whole thing and figure out how we would do this, how we would get you interceptor. Like, you know, do we need 4K video to show the bugs on the coral? You know, is it something where we could just cut you a little bit of interceptor? Um, you know, send somebody to your house to look at this. Like, you know, they don't know what to do. They've never heard of this before. 
They've never had anyone with a reef tank reach out for any kind of medical attention to it for any animals in their reef tank. So, you know, they're like, wow, this is, you know, something new. So I'll let you know how that goes. Basically I'll update you. Um, but if I am able to, uh, receive some interceptor or prescription for some rather after I purchase it, what I plan on doing is taking out all the acro in my tank. So these three frags, plus these two frags here that are doing well, they're already on the rock work. And I am gonna move all of them, just in case there are bugs crawling in the tank now, now that I've obviously, I treated those corals with Coral RX dip and it did nothing to knock these bugs out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put all five acro frags, uh, assuming the, the green slimer survives, it's, it's struggling. Um, but I'm gonna put them all into my Fluval Evo 13 gallon that just has the uh, clownfish and anemones in it. And I'm just gonna put them all on a frag rack in there under direct flow. Uh, the lighting is, intensity is similar in that tank to what they are receiving here. Uh, I, I got that light cranked up pretty strong for that NEM. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush up that powder and dose that little 13 and a half gallon tank with it with a very small amount of interceptor. So one, that'll save me some interceptor in case I need to do it again. And I think you do need to do like two rounds or three rounds or something like that um, to make sure that you kill any that hatch. But what it will also do is it'll enable me to not kill any shrimp or crabs in my main display tank. And uh, it will make it so that without Acropora coral in this tank, any of the surviving bugs will die out. I think they're supposed to die out within like four or five days. So any surviving bugs in here won't have any, any coral to latch onto, anything to eat. There's no acros left. So they'll die out and I'll keep those corals in my, you know, 13 gallon tank as long as I can. Probably like seven to 10 days would be my goal. But hopefully, you know, at least the better part of a week and if I see them really struggling, you know, instead of losing them, I would move them back over. Um, but I, I would plan on doing water changes basically every day on that tank um, to keep fresh water going in and keep nutrients low so that the acros don't struggle. But anyway, that's what's going on with pests right now um, with these white bugs. And yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, not cool. Not a, not a good, th I'm not blaming Tidal Gardens. I'm sure these things are rampant in coral farms. Um, but there are so many of them, especially on that green Bali Slimer. I, I'm just like, wow. Um, so yeah, that's my plan going forward. I'll, I will update you guys accordingly. Thanks for listening.